Another day at the office and another stick to test. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are here once again at Paramount Ice in Toronto to film a stick review. And today's video, no it's not no name, no it's not the bent stick, it's not even a wood stick. I'll show you guys, you just gotta unbox this. Go. Pulling it up. Uh, Anticlimactic. All right, you guys can see a little bit right off the bat. We're getting a little bit of a thank you here. Just thanks, TDI. Looking forward to your review. Signed, Andy, the owner of the Hockey Arsenal, who have conveniently sponsored this video and are the manufacturers of the Covet from the Hockey Arsenal. So this is the new stick that we will be reviewing today. Once again, shout out to Andy and the rest of the Hockey Arsenal team for sending this stick out. Now, I'm guessing most of you haven't heard of the stick before, probably for good reason. It's a smaller company, the Hockey Arsenal, and they just launched this stick back in October. So it's a really, really new model. Now the special thing about this is that it's more of a mid-tier, like an intermediate level stick. It's not an elite stick like your Bowers, your CCMs, all the household names that you know. It's more along the lines of a, kind of like a no-name hockey stick or maybe a step down from that. Now to go over some details of the stick real quick the blade is made with woven carbon fiber this increases the blade's stiffness making it more responsive and in my opinion makes it have a slightly better puck feel than sticks like no name as for the specs of the stick they keep it pretty simple offering one combination of flex grip and curve. As you can see on my stick, we've got the 60 inch grip shaft with an 85 flex and the A92 curve. One thing you'll notice is that the stick is still naked. So let's put some tape on her and then let's take it for a spin. Perfect tight. So the covet is all taped up now. Really quick, I'll go through my tape job because uh, that time last might have been too quick. I use plain white tape at the top, give myself a little bit of a knob, and go one layer down. Then use grip tape to go over it again to give it that grip feel. Then finish with uh, clear tape right here for the connection to make it you know seamless into the stick. As for the blade, I just use a piece of black tape to cover kind of my slap shot area. And I feel it helps improve the life of the blade a little bit, keeping that protected in a double layer. And then I just go uh, around with black tape, leave the toe fairly open here. You can see the C from the Covet, and that was the A from uh, the Arsenal there. This is how I tape my six guys. Now you know. Anyways, let's take this for a rip now, and uh, I'll show you my little playground I've set up to start. Let's just flip this around. So we've got, uh, you know, the makeshift man over here to dangle around. We got the pipe attack triangle there, some more pipes, some more pylons, a bunch of pucks. So let's take it for a rip. First little bit of stick handling, and I'll take my first official shot with the covet stick right now. Let's go.
fun. Overall, first impressions of the stick. The one thing I kind of notice is it's a little bit heavier than, say, the No Name stick or even the Bent stick, but it's definitely no wood stick in terms of weight. If you're looking for an ultra lightweight stick, this certainly isn't, and obviously the sticks that cost more can afford that technology, that lighter materials that gets you that lighter stick. Now the Hockey Arsenal advertises the Covet as the kind of quintessential stick for any kind of mid-tier level of hockey. So things like beer league, things like pond hockey, intramurals. It's marketed towards people like myself who don't want to spend upwards of two, three, four hundred dollars on one stick when you're only playing things like pond hockey or beer league. Um, you don't want to, you know, spend all that money, invest in a really good stick only to have it break on you and you're out, you know, whatever amount you spend on that. In terms of the, the specs, the grip, you know, standard grip like any, any stick would have, uh, the 85 flex, I mean, it feels about right when I shoot and I'm actually liking this curve. It's a little bit more severe than I'm used to. Uh, it's more open at the toe. Allows me to get my shots a little bit higher than I'm used to. But yeah, other than that, I had a lot of fun just taking this for a rip. Now what we're gonna do for the rest of the video is take on two separate drills that were uh, invented by instructors right here at Paramount Ice at the Intech High Performance Training Center. I chose these two drills because they focus on a combination of stick handling and shooting and just puts you in a more game-like situation instead of me where I'm used to just sitting in the slot and taking rips all day. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. So in this example, it's actually done by Phil Veroni, who trains here at Paramount Ice. He's a Philadelphia Flyers prospect, was named Player of the Year in the AHL last year, so uh, pretty impressive stuff. But here he kind of demonstrates, he gets a pass from the instructor, he breaks into the zone, stops up at the hash marks, goes around the net, changes his angle, and pulls it around the fender and snipes into the open net. Obviously, the way I set it up here, it's mirrored because Phil's a lefty, I'm a righty. Something that we'll do, just a few reps to get a hang of the drill, and then once we get it, we'll do about 10 reps, see how feels, see if I see any improvement over those 10 reps, and obviously see how the stick feels. Let's go. So just checking the replay here, uh, I ended up mohawking instead of uh, basically skating normally the whole time and just opening up your shoulders and your chest to take the shot around the defender. So let's try and fix that and let's go again. But uh, the shot, I was a little bit off balance. Let's try and fix that. Starting to get the hang of the skating and the lead up to the shot, but I think the shot and my release particularly is what we need to work on here. For the dangle at the passer here, let's try adding a head fake before we make the turn to kind of uh, try and fake out the defender, turn back, curl, get into the shot, get a lane, and snipe it, try and go bar down. Nice, you guys can tell. Three times just over the net. We're gonna get it. Here we go. This is the one. Nice night barn in. It felt good, but uh, take a look at what I did to this ice. Look at all these marks. The ice, I mean, I guess I'm digging in good. There's my turn there. Look at that poor passer. Completely full of snow. I dug up the ice pretty nice though. Look at those turns. And then of course this guy is still standing. Gotta say, that was a really fun drill. Um, 
tiring, but it's definitely game situation. Gain the zone, cut back as the defender's pressuring you. Draw some bodies to you, curl back, top of the hash marks, rip it by a guy, hopefully it's through screen. So yeah, I definitely love that drill. Let's go on to the next one though. Now full disclosure, I kind of lied about there being two drills from Intech. I forgot only the first one was. The second one's coming from No Co Hockey on Instagram. So this is another game situation uh, drill. Basically we do some wide stick handling in the neutral zone. Gain the zone, chip it by a defender, go down low, cut around the pylon, come back, pass it to the defenseman off the passer, receive it, go around in the corner, make a power move through the triangle and bury it top shelf. Uh, we set it up, obviously it's flipped because the guy again was left-handed, so he's doing it on that side. So I'll walk you through the course we set up here. So we've got our four cones here that we're gonna dangle around. We're gonna chip it, pass the defender off the boards, hopefully pass the passer too. We're gonna go down low, curl around the cone, come back, give a pass to our defenseman, receive it, go around the cone again, puck in the triangle, and then bury it top shelf. Hopefully. right off the bat how tight it is, especially in the corner there. I'm thinking we might shift the net over a little bit. Hopefully it's still in the shot. Eh. There we go. But at least we scored. See how it flexes, and then we'll get out of here. Here are my thoughts. Like I said earlier, it does feel a little bit heavier than sticks, like my no-name stick, for example. And of course, I haven't actually tried it for a long period of time. It's got a 45-day warranty, uh, so I'd like to see if I can actually exceed that. I wanna test it out in a beer league game and actually game situations, so uh, this will probably come into my rotation along with my no-name stick and uh, my bent uh, elevate stick. I think one of the biggest value propositions for a stick like this is how the lower price point but still the high performance allows you maybe to invest in not just one stick but maybe two or three at once and then you'll have sticks for a longer period of time if you kind of swap them out and use one then two then three, one then two then three, it's the same stick then you can increase the lifespan of all your sticks 
and getting more bang for your buck. So my final thoughts, if you're looking for a stick to use on a more casual level like beer league or on the pond and don't want to break the bank, the Covet stick by the Hockey Arsenal is definitely, definitely a solid choice. You can pick this up on Amazon. The link is in the description down below, guys. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Uh, I'm pretty exhausted. But it was fun putting this thing through the ringer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more stick reviews or hockey challenges or anything hockey related. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.